Bhopal, Hindustani pronunciation, B -o -pa -l listen, is the capital city of the Indian state of Madhya Pradesh and the administrative headquarters of Bhopal district and Bhopal division. The city was the capital of the former Bhopal state. Bhopal is known as the city of lakes for its various natural as well as artificial lakes and is also one of the greenest cities in India. It is the 17th largest city in the country and 131st in the world. A Y-class city, Bhopal houses various educational and research institutions and installations of national importance, including ISRO's Master Control Facility, BHEL, and AMPRI. Bhopal is home to the largest number of institutes of national importance in India, namely IISER, MANIT, SPA, AIIMS, NLIU and IIIT currently functioning from a temporary campus inside MANIT. The city attracted international attention in December 1984 after the Bhopal disaster, when a Union Carbide India Limited UCIL pesticide manufacturing plant now owned by Dow Chemical Company leaked a mixture of deadly gases composed mainly of methyl isocyanate, leading to one of the worst industrial disasters in the world's history. The Bhopal disaster continues to be a part of the socio political debate and a logistical challenge for the people of Bhopal. Bhopal was selected as one of the first 20 Indian cities the first phase to be developed as a smart city under PM Narendra Modi's flagship Smart Cities mission. History Early history According to folklore, Bhopal was founded in 11th century by the Paramara king Boja, who ruled from his capital at Dar. This theory states that Bhopal was originally known as Bhojpal after a dam pal, constructed by the king's minister. No archaeological evidence, inscriptions or historical texts support the claim about an earlier settlement founded by Boja at the same place. An alternative theory says that the city is named after another king called Bhupala or Bhupal. In the early 18th century, Bhopal was a small village in the Gond Kingdom. The modern Bhopal city was established by Dust Muhammad Khan 1672-1728, a Pashtun soldier in the Mughal army. After the death of the Emperor Aurangzeb, Khan started providing mercenary services to local chieftains in the politically unstable Malwa region. In 1709, he took on the lease of Barasia estate and later annexed several territories in the region to establish the Bhopal state. Khan received the territory of Bhopal from the Gond Queen Kamlapati in lieu of payment for mercenary services and usurped her kingdom after her death. In the 1720s, he built the Fatehgar fort in the village, which developed into the city of Bhopal over the next few decades. Begum rule Bhopal became a princely state after signing a treaty with the British East India Company in 1818. Between 1819 and 1926, the state was ruled by four women, Begums, unique in the royalty of those days, under British suzerainty. Kudsia Begum was the first woman ruler between 1819 to 1837, who was succeeded by her granddaughter, Shah Jahan. Between the years 1844–1860, when Shah Jahan was a child, her mother Sikandar only daughter of Kudsia, ruled as regent, and was then recognized as ruler in 1860. She ruled until 1868, when Shah Jahan succeeded her and was Begum until 1901. In 1901, Shah Jahan's daughter Kaikusrao Jahan became Begum, ruled until 1926, and was the last of the female line of succession. In 1926, she abdicated in favor of her son, Hamidullah Khan, who ruled until 1947, and was the last of the sovereign Nawabs. The rule of Begums gave the city its waterworks, railways, a postal system, and a municipality constituted in 1907. <laughs> Post-independence Bhopal state was the second largest Muslim ruled princely state, the first being Hyderabad. After the independence of India in 1947, the last Nawab expressed his wish to retain Bhopal as a separate unit. Agitations against the Nawab broke out in December 1948, leading to the arrest of prominent leaders including Shankar Dayal Sharma. 
Later, the political detainees were released, and the Nawab signed the agreement for Bhopal's merger with the Union of India on 30 April 1949. The Bhopal state was taken over by the Union Government of India on 1 June 1949. <inaudible> Bhopal disaster On December 1984, a Union Carbide India Limited pesticide plant in Bhopal leaked around 32 tons of toxic gases, including methyl isocyanate gas which led to the worst industrial disaster to date. The official death toll was initially recorded around 4,000. A Madhya Pradesh government report stated 3,787 deaths, while other estimates state the fatalities were significantly higher from the accident and the medical complications caused by the accident in the weeks and years that followed. The higher estimates have been challenged. The impact of the disaster continues to this day in terms of psychological and neurological disabilities, blindness, skin, vision, breathing, and birth disorders. The soil and ground water near the factory site have been contaminated by the toxic wastes. The Bhopal disaster continues to be the part of the socio political debate. The cleanup of environmental contamination and rehabilitation of those affected continues to challenge the people of Bhopal. Till date, there has been no scientific comprehensive assessment done to ascertain how far and how deep the chemicals have seeped, said Rachna Dingra of the Bhopal Group for Information and Action. Quote, as per earlier studies, poisonous chemicals have contaminated drinking water for several kilometers north and northeast to the factory affecting 22 communities. But now our research shows 10 more communities are affected due to poor quality of water. Geography <inaudible> 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 Bhopal has an average elevation of 500 meters 1401 feet. It is located in the central part of India and is just north of the upper limit of the Vindhya mountain ranges. Located on the Malwa plateau, it is higher than the North Indian plains and the land rises towards the Vindhya range to the south. The city has uneven elevation and has small hills within its boundaries. The prominent hills in Bhopal are Idga Hills and Shimala Hills in the northern region, Katara Hills in southern region. City's geography has in it two lakes namely Upper Lake and Lower Lake. Bhopal City is divided into two parts where one part which is near the VIP and Lake is Old Bhopal north, and the other is where mainly malls are situated New Bhopal south. <laughs> Climate Bhopal has a humid subtropical climate, with cool, dry winters, a hot summer and a humid monsoon season. Summers start in late March and go on till mid-June, the average temperature being around 30 degrees Celsius 86 degrees Fahrenheit, with the peak of summer in May, when the highs regularly exceed 40 degrees Celsius 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The monsoon starts in late June and ends in late September. These months see about 40 inches of precipitation, frequent thunderstorms and flooding. The average temperature is around 25 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit and the humidity is quite high. Temperatures rise again up to late October when winter starts, which lasts up to early March. Winters in Bhopal are cool, and not very much comfortable like summers, with average daily temperatures around 16 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit. The winter peaks in January when temperatures may drop close to freezing on some nights. Lowest temperature ever recorded was 0.3 C. Total annual rainfall is about 1,146 mm 46 inches. <laughs> <laughs> Demographics According to the 2011 census, the population of the Bhopal city the area under Bhopal Municipal Corporation is 1,798,218, with 936,168 males and 862,050 females. The population of the Bhopal metropolitan area the urban agglomeration that extends beyond Bhopal city was 1,886,100 in 2011. The total effective literacy rate for population aged 7 plus years was 85.24%, with male and female literacy respectively at 89.2% and 
Topic: Culture. Bharat Bhavan is the main cultural center of the city, and hosts many theater and film festivals every year. It has an art gallery, an open-air amphitheater facing the upper lake, two other theaters and a tribal museum. Diwali and Eid are major festivals in Bhopal. Gifts and sweets are exchanged and donation are made to the poor. Diwali is celebrated by worshipping the wealth goddess Lakshmi. Eid is special to the city as all the Hindus take time out to visit their Muslim friends and greet them and get treated with delicacies, the specialty of the day being sweet sawaya. Bhopali culture is such that both Hindus and Muslims visit each other on their respective festivals to greet and exchange sweets. During Ganesh Puja and Durga Puja Navratras, idols of Ganesh and Durga are established in Jankis throughout the city. People throng to offer prayers to their deities. At the end of Navratras, on the day of Vijayadashami or Dussehra, huge effigies of Ravan are burnt in different parts of the city. Bhopal IJ Tima is an annual Muslim World Preachers Congregation, is held at Gasapura 11 km from Bhopal. The annual congregation near Bhopal attracts between 500,000 and 1 million Muslims globally. The city was the first in state and all of central India to organize an LGBTQ plus Pride March, the Bhopal Pride March on the 17th of May 2017, International Day Against Homophobia, Transphobia, and Biphobia. The march saw a huge participation from the members of the queer community as well as straight allies. It was followed in 2018 by a second edition which was held on 15 July 2018. Economy The major industries in the old city are electrical goods, medicinal, cotton, chemicals and jewellery. Other industries include cotton and flour milling, cloth weaving and painting, as well as making matches, sealing wax, and sporting equipment. The residents of Bhopal also engage in large retail businesses. Handicrafts, like zardozi and batua a small string purse, usually used with Indian traditional dresses are some of the products of the old city. Bhopal is also home to the DB Corp., informally called the Bhaskar Group, named after its major publication Dainik Bhaskar, a 17 billion rupees business conglomerate with strong presence in media. Its head office is located in Maharana Pratap Nagar. Manjul Publishing House, located in the Old City, is a major publishing house made famous by the translation of the Harry Potter series of novels into Hindi. Industries Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited, the largest engineering and manufacturing enterprise in India, has a unit in Bhopal. It occupies a large area in the eastern part of the city and maintains a suburb named after it. A majority of the residents of the BHEL suburb are employed by the unit. Mandadeep is an industrial suburb of Bhopal. It is located to the south of the city on the NH12. Mandadeep's total exports are worth some 2,300 crore rupees $500 million, 300 million pounds per year, making it the largest industrial area in Madhya Pradesh. The town is home to Hindustan Electro Graphite HEG, owning the largest graphite electrode plant in the world and is the largest industrial company in the entire state. Hindustan Electro Graphite HEG and Lupin Laboratories Limited are the dominant companies in the suburb, each exports worth around 900 crore rupees. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Civic Administration. Bhopal Municipal Corporation is the urban civic body which oversees the needs of Bhopal City. The municipal corporation is spread over an area of 285.88 square kilometers, 110.38 square miles. The city is divided into 85 wards. Each ward elects a corporator. The winning party elects a council of members who are responsible for various departments. Bhopal Municipal Corporation was ranked third out of 21 cities for best governance and administrative practices in India in 2014. It scored 3.7 on 10 compared to the national average of 3.3. The present mayor of the city is Alec Sharma. Priyanka Das is the municipal commissioner of the city. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Government and Politics. 
It houses the State Legislative Assembly, or the Vedan Sabha, which seats 230 members of Legislative Assembly. The 13th and current Vedan Sabha was elected in May 2013. As of February 2016, the party in the majority in Vedan Sabha is Bharatiya Janata Party BJP with 166 seats which is led by Shivraj Singh Chauhan. Bhopal district elects seven seats to the assembly. Transport Air The Raja Bhoj International Airport is located near the suburb of Baragad and is the primary airport serving the state of Madhya Pradesh, India. There are three routes or ways to reach the airport: one via Baragad, two via Panchvati, three via Gandhi Nagar Road and H12. From within the city, VIP Road, a four-lane road, takes one to the airport, which lies 15 kilometers to the north of the city. International flights began operations in 2010. Domestic direct flight services are operated by Jet Airways, JetConnect, Alliance Air and Air India. As of December 2018, Bhopal has non-stop flights to New Delhi, Mumbai, Jaipur and Raipur and proposed non-stop flights to Ahmedabad, Shirdi and Hyderabad and direct flight to Bengaluru from January 2019 by Indigo and Spice Jet. There is only one seasonal international flight from Bhopal and that is to Jeddah, Saudi Arabia and is used mainly by Hajj pilgrims. Rail Bhopal lies in the West Central Railway Zone. Considering both north-south and east-west train routes, it is one of the most rail-connected cities in India which halts more than 200 daily trains, with a total of more than 380 trains within a week. The main stations of Bhopal are the Bhopal Junction Station located in Old Bhopal as well as Bhopal Habibganj Station located in New Bhopal. Both of the stations are equipped with Wi-Fi, has enough waiting halls, refreshment center, passenger ticket counter and ticket vending machines, vehicle parking, communication facility, sanitary facility and dedicated government railway police force to ensure security. Altogether the city has six railway stations within its city limits. The Bhopal Junction Station as well as Bhopal Habibganj Station are selected along with 47 other railway stations to emerge as the world-class railway station. While the work has already started on development of Bhopal Habibganj as the first world-class railway station of India. The Bhopal Junction and Bhopal Habibganj have already received ISO 9001-2000 certificate. Bhopal Railway Stations with their station code and details The Bhopal Junction Station houses the Divisional Railway Managers DRM head office under Central Railways. Topic roads National Highway No. 12 passes through Bhopal which connects it to Jubalpur in the east and Jaipur in the west. National Highway 86 connects Bhopal to Sagar in the east to Diwas and Ujjain in the west. State Highway 17 connects the city with Indore. An interstate bus terminus is located near the Habibganj railway station, called the Kushabau Thakur Interstate Bus Terminal which was inaugurated in 2011. Urban transport <inaudible> Bhopal BRTS The Bus Rapid Transit System, which opened in 2013, is run by Bhopal City Link Limited the company has identified four trunk and eight standard routes in the city on which 225 buses would be operated daily 365 a day in a year, from 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. 82 bus stops are built along the 24 km long corridor. <laughs> Metro Rail A Metro Rail project is under planning for the city. Topic Education Topic Basic Education Bhopal has more than 550 state sponsored schools, which are affiliated to the Madhya Pradesh Board of Secondary Education. 
In addition, there are five Kendriya Vidyalayas in the city, affiliated to the Central Board of Secondary Education The city is also served by numerous other private schools affiliated to either CBSE, ICSE, MPBSE, NIOS and C Cambridge. Some highly regarded schools include Delhi Public School, Bhopal CBSE, the Sanskar Valley School ICSE and Cambridge International Examinations, Campion School CBSE and St. Joseph's Convent CBSE. <laughs> <laughs> Higher education Bhopal is the home of many universities and highest number 15 of institutions of national importance. The institutes and universities headquartered in the city include <laughs> Sports <laughs> Teams Bhopal Badshahs is a hockey team based in Bhopal that plays in World Series hockey. The team is captained by Indian hockey player Samir Dad and coached by Vasudevan Bhaskaran who was the captain of India's Olympic victory in 1980 Summer Olympics in Moscow. Badshahs defeated Chandigarh Comets in the inaugural match of 2012 World Series hockey 4-3. Aishva Stadium in Bhopal is the home ground of Bhopal Badshahs. Topic: Stadiums. Aishba Stadium is a field hockey stadium in Bhopal. TT Nagar Stadium is a multi-purpose stadium as Bhopal. Topic: Places of interest. Topic: Nature. Bimbetka Caves are about 35 km from Bhopal city. They have evidence of dwellings of pre-historic man during the Paleolithic era. Rock paintings in the caves are specimens of pre-historic settlements in India. There are about 600 caves, but only 12 are open for visitors. The caves are located in the midst of Sal and Teak forests. They were discovered by Wakankar in 1957. UNESCO declared Bimbetka Caves as a World Heritage Site in 2003. Topic: Activity Centers. Regional Science Center is a science museum located on the picturesque Shimala Hills. It houses about 300 science exhibits in invention and fun science galleries. Terramandal and planetarium at the center helps the students and enthusiasts study the astral and mysterious world of stars, galaxies, and the universe. Stargazing sessions are organized at the planetarium. The Museum of Mankind in Bhopal exhibits tribal and folk houses from all corners of India. People from Bhopal Shankar Dayal Sharma 9th President of India Abdul Hafiz Muhammad Barakatullah, Revolutionary Aslam Sher Khan, National Hockey Player and Member of Parliament Divyanka Tripathi, actress Isha Singh, actress Najma Heptula, Union Minister Raghuram Rajan 23rd Governor of RBI Arshi Khan, actress, model Shawar Ali, actor Javed actor, poet and lyricist graduated from Safia College, Bhopal Kaif Bhopali, poet and lyricist Asad Bhopali, poet and lyricist Mansoor Acham, writer and Padma Shri Award recipient Mansoor Ali Khan Patauda, former captain of the India national cricket team Sarah Khan, TV actress Shariar Khan, chairman of Pakistan Cricket Board Anu Kapoor, actor, TV presenter and National Film Award winner Kalash Chandra Joshi, former Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh Abdul Qadir Khan, Pakistani nuclear physicist Manzur Bhopali, Urdu poet Shoaib Ibrahim, TV actor Samir Dad, national hockey player Jalaluddin Rizvi, national hockey player and Arjuna Award winner 
Anis Ahmed, lawyer in United Nations Peacekeeping Operations and United Nations International Criminal Tribunals Jaya Bachchan, actress Bashir Badr, Urdu poet Samawa Tandon, television actress See also Bhopal Lok Sabha constituency Regional Museum of Natural History, Bhopal Baba Engineering Research Institute